How did my life come to this? Let's rewind and find out, shall we? So it was just an average day in the office, eating my lunch. I was full, but had so much yummy sandwich left over. I wandered to the bin and a wave of guilt came over me. No! There had to be an alternative, a way to somehow give our unwanted food new life. Imagine how many sandwiches are wasted every day. 35% of the average household bin is food waste. Oh, no, 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 no. One third of all food produced is lost or wasted. That's 1.3 billion tonnes of food. And food waste causes 8% of greenhouse gases. What? Then I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Unexpected and slightly disturbing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Answer to our waste. Worms. To be more specific, compost worms. They can do wonders just by eating. So how are they so helpful, you may ask? Well, you've heard of composting, right? Well, this is next level. Regular hot composting breaks down your food with natural heat and a mixture of organic matter working together over time. So you will need to water and turn the soil. But if you do vermi composting, aka add wormies, they'll do the dirty work for you and help decompose the matter a whole lot quicker. They'll have a never-ending feast on your food scraps and then they poo everywhere. But once your little employees poop on the job, Literally, it then releases magical microbes into the soil that makes it super rich fertilizer. Then you can just throw that stuff everywhere. Well, over your garden, not anywhere else. I bet you're wondering, how do I make my own vermi compost? Who can teach me how to save the planet, recycle my food, and get over my fear of worms? Well, if death ain't me, I don't have a clue. So, I found someone who does. Introducing Francesca, an OG worm farmer. Things that you'll need to set up your worm habitat are some gloves, a fork for aerating, cocoa peat to hydrate, and of course your worms. So you're gonna need your wormy home with ventilation to keep the worms cool. The first step is gonna be popping the rehydrated cocoa peat in, which is gonna act as the worm's bedding. There are different kinds of compost bins you can use depending on how you want to harvest your delicious poo soil. So talk to your local vermicompost specialist to choose what's best for you. Now to add your worms. You do need to add a lot of them. So maybe ask a friend to give you a hand. There's heaps in here. Brooke, can I have some help? Ah, uh, sure. Never mind. I take that all back. Oh, okay, what do I... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll just gently grab a handful and we'll evenly distribute them. Okay. Worms. But holding them, not so much. All right, time to add your organic matter. You'll need both brown and greens. Brown matter is your dead, dry matter. Aged grass clippings, brown leaves, paper, even takeaway coffee cups. And then there's your green matter, which is your fruit, veg, and any fresh garden clippings. Worms eat pretty much anything, but acidic foods, meat and dairy aren't their favourites. So to avoid things rotting and bad smells in your vermi compost, aim to keep these kind of scraps to a minimum. And remember, keeping your compost bin close to a water source is key. Worms actually breathe through their skin, so their body needs to remain nice and moist to allow that to occur. So be sure to lightly mist your worm farm if it's looking dry. The usual composting process can take up to eight months, but vermi composting only takes around three to six. So eat as much of your lunch as possible, and then the worms will make their magical fertilizer with whatever's left. And done. Looking good. Thank you, Frankie. No worries at all. <gasps> I'm a ha. No, no, too much goodness. Mm. Bye, guys. Perfect.